I mean, because in reality, I want everybody to fall in love, you know? I live in the hood, man. I see so many beautiful women who have no idea they beautiful. And I'm like, geez, Louise, I can tell you with all my heart, you're the most beautiful woman in the whole entire world. But if you don't think it, if you don't believe it, I'm out here loving a, an artificial creature. <laughs> it's because society tells these women how it's supposed, how they want it to be. Man, our women know that they but they try to be like these other nations, nationalities. I ain't trying to cut, like, you say You say they know it. How do they know it? How do they show it, you know what I'm saying? They, yeah, I'm like, baby, if you wanna hang out, we gotta build. I can't build with you when you spending $300 in your head. I can't build with you when you got $50 on your face. We can't build nothing. We already in debt. Right. And I'm looking at you like, Man, you the most beautiful woman in the whole entire world. Without that shit. And for some reason, you think you gotta put this shit on your face to be beautiful. So who is he really trying to impress? Because your woman is supposed to be impressing you. So, I mean. We supposed what? to be impressing each other. Exactly. We supposed to work hard, fucking do beautiful things and make beautiful love. But instead of us making beautiful love, you got expectations in your mind. I'm like, damn, can we live in the reality? Can we accept the moment for what it is? Like, I believe in unconditional love, fairy tales, Disney World, and all that other bullshit, right? I want to be your Prince Charming, but in order for me, in order for me to be your Prince Charming, baby, you got to be a princess. And in order to be a princess, you got to love yourself. Man, and women don't love themselves. I don't know why. They want to be queens. And if you go back to the original word, what the word queen meant is meant to be. It's not a good word. Marie Antoinette got decapitated. You want that? You want to eat cake while niggas is hungry? We ain't playing these games. Look, come here. I'm going to tell women how to go get a man. Find the man that you want and go whisper in his ear. I want to eat some ice cream, you hear me? You tell him with all due respect, hey, I want to suck this, I want, I want to suck the ice cream, you hear me? And then when he smiles, you know what I'm saying? But you got to tell him, I ain't no hoe though. I'm not a hoe. I need a boyfriend. And so you say, oh yeah, I'll be your boyfriend. But okay, if you gonna be my boyfriend, come and walk and talk with me. And so you bring him on the mission with you. And so now y'all walking and talking, yes. And you say, listen here, in that 10 minute conversation, prove to him that you girlfriend material. And now once you got your man, before you put that old good ice cream in your mouth, before you suck the skin off that ice cream, you tell that gentleman, I wanna be your girlfriend. Will you be my boyfriend? Then when he says yes, he said, you gonna call me tonight? And when he says yes, girl, you commit, you commence to sucking the skin off that ice cream. You hear me? You hear me? You get it all over your face, all around your mouth, and you make sure that he knows that you like that ice cream. Now you got a boyfriend. You treat that man the exact same way. And once you do that, oh my goodness, you got you a man. Hey, this is uh, education one-on-one, how to get a man, yes? How you get a man is to be a good woman. Thank you so much. The thing is, how do you keep him? Because yeah, you can get it. She can get a good man, but uh, the first time she mess up because she want to be all promiscuous and all that. Because let's face it, we living in a society that is they female, they like that. But how do you keep that good man? My brother. Once she come and suck the skin off the ice cream, you gotta be a good man. You gotta be a good man. Okay. For, okay. Now let's let's. Okay, for us good men. What's up? Are we gonna stay committed? Or are we gonna try to find another one? Are you asking? With that one? <laughs> does the American man have the ability to be disciplined? You better believe we have the ability to be disciplined. But we have to encourage that behavior. If we don't encourage discipline, then we are gonna have chaotic young men slinging that ice cream pop everywhere they go. I'm like, man, you can't be out here just motherfucking slanging dick and talking shit. You have to be a personal character, couldn't be gracious tell the truth and get some power, you have to be a man of faith and discipline, hear me? Shit. So, is that instilled in us or do we have to learn that? Because I think a lot of us have to relearn. We got to relearn our values. And stuff. <laughs> All good things in the world to learn, you hear me? I ain't just walk out the pussy fly. Yes, I did. I ain't gonna lie. I came out the pussy the baddest motherfucker on the planet. But I had to learn how to be a badder motherfucker. And I think that all these good American people, man, you know how to be badder motherfuckers? Hey, love your woman. Protect your woman. Fight for your woman. Before you get you a good ass woman, get you a good ass friend. Because a good ass friend will show you how to be accountable. Hey, bro, you doing some fuck shit right now. You doing some fuck boy shit right now. 
then you don't be no whole ass nigga and fucking take that shit personal. You internalize it. Like, you know what? I should stop being a fuck boy. <laughs> I should be a real man. Oh, oh my gosh, Pinocchio's a real man. Goodness gracious, tell the truth and get some motherfucking power, brother. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.